Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of Evil Dead the Game. I'm Tangent, and we're going to be talking about the Necromancer in a fun new build that we've been working on that I think you're all really going to like. So here it is, and what a pile this is. We're going to walk you through it. So as you can see, there's a lot of very favorite abilities missing across the board on here, and you guys are going to be wondering, oh my god, just how does this build operate? Take a look at this. Rocksteady Elite, only 15%. I know a lot of you guys are not going to want to get rid of these ones, but trust me, Seismic Smash rank 1 just to get into Trident Missile, just to get into Portal Authority boss, but even still, just one point here to Expanded Skeletal Support. Rank 3, 49.2 feet is absolutely bonkers for this. Trust me, if you haven't tried this one, those extra few feet are totally noticeable and is the linchpin for how this build operates. Rock City Basic is very important. 35% to your basics goes very far. By the time you're done leveling Portal, you'll have three of these bad boys coming out every single turn anyways. While you're not going for damage, you are going for sustainability. You are looking to prolong the fights as long as possible. Long fights, resources spent, you get the upper hand, you win the game. Louder War Cry. I did test this one out to 25%. I can safely say save your points. War Cry itself is incredibly good. If it, if it was 25% damage increase, I would say take this every single time. But it's not. It's just range. Skip it one point. Test of time. 10% for one skill point. Save the second one. 5% extra bonus is not worth it. Comeback Stronger is the focal point of this build right here. Basic unit damage and health increased by 40% as well as everything resurrected is healed to full. This is absolutely incredible when you combine it with expanded skeletal support for that extra 49.2 feet. Even better when you have buffed bones, which increases the health and damage dealt by skeletons that Evil Ash summons to battle, an additional 20% health and 20% damage respectively. In addition, Widespread Skeleton Resurrection increased the duration to 30 seconds at rank 2. This is an incredibly long time for the survivors who are going to be under constant pressure. Health Razor Boss is very important because you're trying to prolong the fight. Stay alive, bring your stuff off cooldown, more summons, more resurrections, bigger, badder boss phases. Skeletal reinforcements, having an extra skeleton with all of these bonuses is absolutely nothing to sneeze at. Notice that Gates of Hell Basic, Gates of Hell Elite, Heavy Damage Elite, Heavy Damage Basic, and Heavy Damage Boss are all missing from this build. You don't even need them. You don't need them. You don't need them at all. Now, in the past, I have been harsh on Flute Force. I actually really like Flute Force, and I have put it through the ringer as well. I still believe you can save a talent point on this by just having more careful placement of your skeleton flottest, but there is something to be said about the extra range. The flottest can be used just as well as a trap, as a lure to separate survivors as it is to get a bonus to your units. Combined with Relentless Evil, you can place it incredibly aggressively with a 59-second cooldown. I can't even begin to tell you how many times we were able to aggressively place a Flottus without fear of it being unavailable for a fight. At the end of the day, this build is going to favor quantity over quality, and that's going to be very apparent. When it comes time for the boss phase, you guys are going to feel very powerful. You're going to suddenly realize that you are summoning a force that is hard for any team to deal with. Now, let me remind you that this build is going to feel a little bit weaker at first to those of you guys who have been making great use of a heavy damage basic. You're not going to be doing as much damage to survivors in the early stages, but you are going to be getting a lot of EXP for the rapid engagement. So remember, stay aggressive, stay on them, and look forward to the boss fight. And with that said, let's see the build in action. All right. It's time to dwell. see if this Dark new build holds domain. up a bit. So, Our time has come again, to the major differences world. are is we've taken points out of the increased damaging potentials from uh, the, the, the basic of skeletons the to and from went back realm. into points Stop that them. favor our skeleton resurrection and improve our boss phases. So we're going to see how, how that goes. Um, there's a lot of people, <laughs> you know, com complaining about the basic skeleton build. Um, they, they, they think it's too strong. 
It's bullshit. Some people don't even want to play because it's just not fun. I disagree personally, although I've got, I've got, uh, survivor bias, uh, being a necromancer player, but there's plenty of games that we have that are, are nail biters as well. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't I'm not willing to say, <laughs> although, although the clickbait in my YouTube, uh, says that the build is OP, there, I, I do believe that the other killers are, uh-oh, I'm stuck. No! I spent so much time in queue! Okay, good. Woo! Jeez. Emperor Ghost Nappa, thanks, pal, for the sub. Appreciate ya. Uh, Flight 666 is a great place to booby trap early on. We got two levels, two in Infernal Energy. Do as we do. I had some people also, uh, commenting on, on the, from the videos that we posted saying that with the, uh, even without the flottest, the basic skeletons are just too tanky and like nearly impossible to kill. I don't think that, I don't think that's the case. I, I, I think that this build is going to be a bit slower. Uh, I'm really interested in seeing how it performs in the end, but ultimately, uh, it's we're, we're going to have good engagements, but they're not going to be as ex as explosive. The previous builds that we've been posting were really capable of uh, downing and and incapacitating an entire survivor team within the first couple of encounters, particularly if they were uh, maybe even a little less experienced. But it's also one of those things right now where I'm thinking that if we can make the game a little bit more fun for everybody, maybe that would be a good thing. But we'll see. We'll see. So the intention behind this build is to make it so that you're not necessarily killing everybody in the first couple minutes of the game. But you set yourself up for a really great boss fight. Um, but this is in the spirit of being more about the basic skeletons. It doesn't focus on evil ashes like damage. It focuses more on resurrection range. It focuses on uh, things that get summoned by Ash coming back stronger and in larger numbers. It, 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 it embraces that rather than just going for the throat, going for the kill. And we're gonna we're gonna see how that how that goes. Found some more spots right here. Again, if a, if if a battle winds up. At flight six six six, there's gonna be a there's gonna be a big a big showdown. Totally All right, fertile energy, uh, portal basic on the next rank. A vehicle is being driven, and they are currently in the tunnel. Interesting. If I was them, I would take a quick a quick trip up north to flight six six six. There's so much loot to be had. Don't they just want to come up here? And just salvage the wreckage. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna be perfectly honest, and I'm not I'm not like saying anybody in particular, but I've been making my rounds and, and you know, watching people who complain about uh, about demon in general and, and stuff like that. Interesting. I went a different way. Our enemies have obtained another piece uh -huh. of the map. Use their there, there's. To I, I'm seeing people crying OP when they they're they're really not that great at the game themselves and kind of making lots of mistakes. And it's like it's kind of no wonder why you're you guys are getting caught and stuff like that. But I'm not wanting to be rude about that either. Oh man, they really, really got it. Damn. Well, the last piece is there. Alright. No flawedest. There we go. Burning his ability to make a escape. 
And we're gonna just keep engaging. So we thought Warcry would be able to enable us to get that one bit better. Definitely feeling without the flottest that we don't really have some good teeth, but uh, we're getting experience points for this engagement and dealing damage all the same. But uh, definitely allowing a character like Henry the Red to, to run off. And as they engage here, we're gonna fully embrace that. Good, good, good. Another portal, portal basic. Good, 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 good. Alright. Come on, trap. Come on. Come on. What? Where's the thing? Uh. Damn, I couldn't get it in time. I was going to jump in and try. Actually, you know what? That's a nice weapon you got there. I'll take that. Infernal energy. Portal basic. Pieces up here, it looks like. We seem to have some trouble. Oh, it's right there. It's right there. Boss, we do got boss energy right now. They're gonna get the map piece. The humans now know the location All of right. the lost pages and can. So we picked up, we picked up the pieces for a moment there. Don't do it again. A little reluctant to jump them right this moment. Fairly close to all of these locations here. We don't have traps yet. Yep, they're gonna head right on over. Let's see how it goes. And there. And there. And there. Yeah, this build's gonna put all in. Flottest the pages inside of human flesh have been found here. by the mortals. Shred their flesh in return. And we're gonna grab one last portal basic. Skeletons are even with the basic skeletons without are even more powerful it seems. Goodness. Well, that's the game. Alright. <laughs> Ash just sitting standing there being like, you know what, I don't like this very much. 
And there you have it. As you guys can see, a bit of struggling in the early game. It felt kind of bad. We weren't even liking it necessarily at first. It was feeling a little weak. But that snowball towards the end. And you can expect that in most matches. And with that said, ladies and gentlemen, that's all for this video. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure to subscribe if you feel so inclined. And we will see you next time.